Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the drop. Hope you're all having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin market. So strap in. Strap on and get ready for some filthy technical analysis right here. Bitcoin, what has happened right here? What has happened? Well, uh, we, we've had a bit of a pumper pumper, okay? I did say if we get over this monthly pivot here that we have been rejected from twice before here, right? I did say if we get over it, it will be a swift pumperino up to 10.7, right? And what did we do? We tapped 10.7, we came back down, tested our moving average, tested our price action channel, which I always say here, guys, when we test this price action channel, there's always a nice little bounce you can get off of that for a, for a good little, for a good little girthy gain here. Girthy gain all over your face here, right? So uh, that's kind of what's happened here over the past day. Looking pretty good, looking pretty delicious, but it depends. It depends if we do get rejected at this 10.9 zone. And this is a very prominent point to get rejected at. So if we are to lose momentum and fall off a cliff here, the big me megalodonic girthorific, <laughs> girthorific dumperino here all the way down in, into this kind of lower 10,000 zone. Now is the time for this to happen, okay? Uh, me personally, my position is still holding solid here uh, in terms of what I've done. I've basically uh, put in a long at 10.7 here, held it out. Uh, this is meant to be a DCA long, so I'm gonna be long in every thousand bucks we drop, uh, and then uh, taking profit if we get up into these 11,000 zones from that point, right? So if we do break over here, if we do get over to this like 11.2 zone, I am gonna be looking to take a little bit of profit on this position, uh, and then looking for a reload around either the 11K zone or uh, if our, our predictions of a dump does come through here and into fruition, then I do expect to, uh, to, to basically reload that position down in the 10,000 zones, right? So, uh, in terms of predictions right now, I would say, I would say right now here on the short term, on the short term, I would just say, it, the momentum is dropping a bit, okay? This does look a bit more bearish, I would say this, but uh, as long as we maintain above this 10 simple, okay, this 10 SMA, uh, this red line, and above this 21 EMA here, fantastic stuff here for uh, a continuation of the bullish trend, right? But we will find out later on in this video uh, that this is actually uh, the prime area to get rejected from. So we've got to be cautious, got to be careful, we've got to be gentle. But very firm indeed with this, very firm indeed, right? So uh, the reason why we have this line drawn in uh, is all the way from back here when we were getting confluence around this area on the way up. You can see this pretty significant support and I do expect that to hold true as a resistance as well, right? So uh, the most likely scenario here is to lose momentum and drop off naturally, but that doesn't just mean to short guys, we've got to play this, uh, we've got to play this reactive, right? As we said, so um, with this, I would just say just wait to see what happens because there is uh, a possibility that we do just go sideways here for some time. Uh, there's also the possibility that we just smash through here and just really trap those guys above 11.2, which we talked about the other day, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the short term. If we do lose, if we do lose this 55 here at 10, 1600 at the moment and um, we'd lose the price action channel I would expect drops all the way down to 10.4 again and uh, Overall coming down to 10.3 from that point But if we do test this this moving average again, I would just say be careful with this There is quite a, a likely scenario that we do drop through it. So just be careful with that. Okay, we gotta we gotta be uh, we gotta be predictive on this, right? So Right now as my dogs just mo moaning in the background here uh, <laughs> right now in terms of patterns here and formations, there is potential for a wedge to form uh, around this kind of zone, but uh, it's a little bit too early, a little bit too, uh, I don't know, a little bit too early to say that, that this is a wedge just yet, simply because we don't have that much confluential points here. Uh, we could use this wick coming in, and this was just drawn in the last 30 minutes, so uh, there's potential here for this to be a confluence point. If we do just rise up along this over some time here, uh, then yeah, this would be the wedge in fruition, right? Um, and with that wedge, we can draw measure moves from that. So if we draw a measure move down here, this would bring us right back down to our price action channel, which would make sense here uh, to break this and come down here and test those kind of, uh, those mid 10,000 zones, right? 10,700, 10,500 area, and just kind of a mess around this area, right? Because we've already had our bounce. Momentum will be dropping off if we are to, to go down here and break this towards the downside. That is what I would expect to happen. And then just going sideways along this price action channel before a girth, girthy dump here, right? And in terms of the upside here, similar scenario here, but uh, from, from one side to another, Merlo, stop it now, please. You will go in your bed. You will. Do you want to go in your bed? No. Okay, cool. Great. Good stuff. 
<laughs> idle threats here for the pets. But um, what can we see here? Yeah, 11, 11, 150. Looking prominent. Looking like a good thing. I think my dog just thought I was was moaning, so he's moaning as well, probably something like that. Uh, but yeah, if we did come up here and fulfill this as a a pretty gargantuan, uh, what would you call this? Parabolific, par parabolic, parabolic move. Okay, it's, it's parabolic uh, on the way up here. Uh, to, to level two would make sense here if we can maintain and get above this 10-9 zone, right? But even then, it's going to be tough, and it will just be a bard up there in my opinion if we do get up there okay uh, and then everyone's gonna be turning long uh, and then uh, we can reassess the situation here on these higher time frames speaking of higher time frames with all these measure moves talked about right now uh, we can talk about what's going on here and what's happened what's happened here right so we've had our wedge here on the three hour on the mid term here uh, we can see here that we did play out that measure move uh, to an extent here we didn't completely uh, we didn't completely complete it here as you can see uh, the top for that would be Merlo please stop Please just stop. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he's cutting it up to me now. But um, yeah, if we get over this, if we get over this 200 SMA here, um, a lot more bullish, I would say, and a lot more likely this would become support, as well as this 200 EMA becoming support as well, right? But you can see with this three hour shaping up already, big wicks here. Unless we can recover this in the next 30 minutes, it's looking like we might just go sideways along this area. And you can see here that test coinciding with our one hour test of the price action channel here, uh, and that coming in with the 10 simple as well, right? So if we can bang this up a little bit further, fulfill the measure move, come back down for, for some kind of rejectional thing to happen here. Uh, fantastic uh, to continue the descent down to 96, right? But if we do get above this and we do maintain above this, we can see this monthly pivot as well coming through. I think this is a weekly pivot actually. Um, uh, at 11,000. Uh, this would coincide uh, as a big support here if we can get over it, right? But uh, again, we've had a lot of momentum in this move. The momentum will be wearing off up in this area and that will spell the idea the presentation of a dump here uh, and a trap over this. So just be careful with this. Be cautious, be calm, be predictive, but be gentle, okay? And very firm indeed, as we, as we talked about, right? You can see here on the four hours a little bit different. We are just being held back by this 200 EMA coming through here, coming through strong, okay? Uh, so if we do wick down here, finish below it, I would expect to come back to these lower tens. So, now, what is happening today? Now is the, there's a spider in my face, great. What is happening? Okay, so <laughs> so coming back down here, if we do lose this 10 simple, yeah, you can expect these, these mid 10,000s to be tested again. Uh, we haven't tested this, I wouldn't call this a test just yet. Uh, I would expect us to come back down, test this 10-5 zone before continuing forward. But uh, again, we've got to be cautious in this area because this is still technically a, an accumulation area. Nothing has changed here. Uh, we have come up here, we have some kind of parabolic movement in formation, but uh, we can easily just bar off a cliff here and come back down uh, just based on this area and what we've seen so far, right? So if we do come down there, just bear that in mind, be cautious with it, right, as we talked about. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the up and down side. Again, if we lose this price action channel at 10.4, I would expect to come back down and really fulfill this to the lower side, 10,000 being the immediate target, then 96, uh, and then I, I would expect these supports that were held before to just be a lot weaker, okay, a lot weaker on this, this attempt. Maybe some kind of stuttery sideways action around there, but from that point, uh, 9,600, right? Okay, we're talking pretty fast. We're talking pretty fast here. Uh, let's let's talk about this. Uh, this this these higher time frames here, right? Twenty four hour, twenty four. I see how we're doing on time. Eight minutes. Be beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Okay. Um, twenty four hour here. This does look like it could get rejected here. If we can finish above here, fantastic. And uh, I did say here, because we didn't test this 55 on the way down here, which is, is not a healthy thing to be doing, okay, we need to test this on both sides on the way down over multiple days to have a healthy trending move, okay? And this is why I think we're in accumulation around this area, simply because of that, right? Big Barty girthy dumps here, big sell-offs, uh, and now uh, just grinding back through and, and just appreciating to this zone, right? Uh, so around, again, this, this 11, 11k zone is good, but if we can maintain over the next few days above these moving averages, above this 55, uh, 10.7, 10, 10, 10, uh, that kind of area, right, uh, then that's, that's going to spell out basically the next support here moving forward and, and I would expect some kind of pattern to come into fruition around here maybe sideways action maybe some trappy action before coming down and maybe here maybe maybe we can we'll talk about this in a minute on the long long time frames here maybe uh, spell some kind of ascending triangle coming forward right uh, so imagine a, a rejection off the 11,000 zones here uh, coming back down for a second wave into these mid 10,500s as we just talked about here prominent area to retest that needs to happen really uh, for this move to be healthy um, and yeah, having that second wave down uh, with less momentum does just coincide with everything as well, right? As my computer just freezes 
mentally, okay? Disgusting effort, okay? So, uh, yeah, if we did basically just do this kind of thing here, and this is very early to be doing this, but uh, this, and we don't really have that much confluence around this upper side here, but that's kind of natural for Bitcoin to do anyway. But if we did get this kind of bullish formation, I wouldn't call this a valid uh, triangle just yet, but if we did get this kind of bullish formation, the absolute top measure move here uh, would coincide with our red line of death here coming down from our, our first high. Uh, we're ignoring the trap here in this sense, uh, but uh, yeah, just coming around here, and if we did continue this, this upwards move here, uh, basically that first wave would bring us up here uh, a small rejection off here potentially uh, based on this that we talked about before being a very important thing when we did get rejected up here I said guys even before we rejected here I said guys if we don't hit this 12-2 zone and we don't tap it at least uh, it's probably going to be a rejection and uh, this will become a trend line that's very important in the future right so uh, with this trend line in in, in kind of fruition here uh, and us approaching it in some kind of degree here we're quite far away we're still grand away here or at least 500 600 bucks away here so uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit too far away to talk about, but we are on the long term, right? So this could still happen. If we do come up here to, to 11.4, uh, this would be the immediate wave down I would expect from that area, and I will be taking a lot of profits around that area as I talked about, right? Uh, and then from that point, we can come back up here and fulfill the measure move uh, back up to 11.8 uh, and do it if, if, big if here, if we don't get rejected uh, at this line, if we do get rejected at this line, uh, we can we can basically bring into fruition what we talked about yesterday, right? Which was this bigger descending triangle in play, right? And just to draw that out for you, uh, if we did come up here, everyone gets bullish, comes back down, big, 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 big. Everyone gets bearish here, uh, and then potentially come back down, test these 9,000 zones. And this isn't over a long period of time. It looks like a long period of time in Bitcoin land, but this is only into mid-November, okay? Uh, and we did talk about a big move happening around early October. October, so just be aware of that, be careful with that. Uh, coming from 10,000 up to 11,000, even that is a, is a big move, okay? It's a big move, so um, that could still come into fruition as well. So this this is actually quite a likely path here um, of something that could happen, uh, even though, like, <laughs> I've drawn that completely wrong, but <laughs> yeah, in terms of the next formation, the next pattern, uh, it's gonna be relying on, on whether we get rejected at this this next line at 11.5, but overall right now, that's the, that's the upside if it did happen, okay? Uh, the downside here, I would still be expecting a second wave down here, and this is what we talked about, right? Uh, so second wave down, uh, fulfilling this, uh, coming down to the downside would make sense here. I don't wanna get too repetitive, but that's essentially what I'm looking for right now, if we do lose this, uh, it basically means this ascending triangle is an out. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, get off my screen kind of thing. Uh, and then we can talk about the next pattern here coming down, whether it's uh, the bigger descending triangle or, or just something like this. If we did get rejected around here, uh, a smaller descending triangle and then just playing this out uh, before doing whatever. Right. Uh, and we can't predict the future in that sense. Right. But uh, that's kind of the, the upside and downside. Obviously, if we did lose to the, to the mega mega downside, if we did lose 9000, I wouldn't expect to be down here for that long, but uh, I would expect expect to essentially uh test these lower 8,000s at that point as well, just in, in, in the sense of mean reversion, which we'll talk about right now. Okay, so let's, let's talk about mean reversion right here. Boom, big up that thing here. We, we can see that uh, on our weekly, that our mean is very, very low down. Okay, it's very low down, 9,000 at the moment. So we still have space to come down there. This is still actually not that much of a bullish pattern. I did talk about this on the weekly where uh, because of this candle close, and, and those of you on who uh, signed up to my weekly newsletter, which is free, by the way, just go to bitcoinbeats.com, sign up to it. You also get access to my webinar if you are invited, right? I'm only inviting a few people every time, uh, just so it's easier to, to, to answer questions and stuff, right? Um, so last week was fantastic. If we can get some more in there, great for next week. But uh, yeah, this is kind of what we're looking at right now. If we did come down here and fulfill kind of a, a descending triangle thing coming through, right, something like this, uh, then yeah, that measure move would play down here. If we can just boop, and this is very far into the future, and this, this is obviously not going to be that accurate, but if we did come down here and we'll play this towards the downside, uh, yeah, these mid 8,000s should be tested. Uh, this would coincide with a mean reversion strategy, which a lot of hedge funds do use. Here, guys, they do use these, these, these mean reversion strategies. So uh, yeah, the maximum low here, 7,600. If we did get down there to, to the mega mega downside okay uh, but this could just be a smaller wave and, and these two waves basically uh, fulfilling what we were expecting here which was a bigger wave down okay uh, so if we do just completely recover from here bang it all the way up reclaim this white line which is what I'm going to talk about next right this white line is super important here okay uh, I haven't talked about this in a week so those of you guys that are regulars and you are a bit sick of hearing this uh, it's fine you can skip to the next section of this video it's fine right uh, but for those of you that are interested in this this is how I have made a lot of money okay I've made a lot of money just longing this line every single time okay uh, here, we made uh, three fantastic longs. If we bring this to the daily, it's a bit easier to see. Um, and we get rid of the blue indicator real quick. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, yeah, uh, this, this white line, if you are below at any point, 
in Bitcoin's history, along would have made you girthy gains, ridiculously girthy gains here, okay? Even on this March crash, if you DCA this down, uh, like I was basically planning to do uh, in this one, and, and if we do lose that, if we do reclaim that white line, then that, that that's fine, okay? It's fine, but you could have made like 50% on this, easy, okay? Uh, you could have made uh, way more just, just long this every single time we hit it. You can see this down at 3K, a fantastic area to be longing, okay? Uh, even lower than that, we go even further back in the old bitty history here, if it's gonna load, Trading view, hello, hello here. Oh, it's on Tether, that's why. That's, it's, that's why, that's why, let's, let's bring this up. Let's bring this up to Bitstamp, okay? Uh, there's obviously a, mo a lot more data on Bitstamp, that's why we use it. Uh, you can see we go a lot further back here, and it's also got my, my stuff on it, which is great. We'll talk about hash ribbons as well in this video. Bit of a meteor video here, this is why I'm, I'm talking pretty fast, because uh, it, there's a lot to get through, there's a lot of information to do. Uh, I don't want this to be like a 40 minute video, right? So, uh, here we go. Uh, this this white line, obviously very prominent. Uh, we've never lost it in Bitcoin's history. You can see that. Uh, just taking longs off these areas. Serious money. Serious money. Even this, even though when Bitcoin was $200, 83% gains. All over you. All over you. Okay? All over you. So, uh, yeah, pretty nice stuff here. Uh, we, it does look like we are testing this again. Uh, whether we do get a second wave down here, uh, I mean, it would make sense, in my opinion, to do that based on the mean reversion stuff we just talked about, right? Um, and uh, yeah, but if we are looking at mean reversion on the daily, which is something to, uh, important, uh, important thing to talk about here as well, we are just about to approach this mean, okay? When we do hit this mean, we can't often, the spider is back, <laughs> we can't often, um, we can't often just mess around this for some time. This is why I think going sideways around these high, uh, sorry, these low uh, 11,000s to high 10,000s would make sense here, just to kind of play this out a little bit. Um, but I mean, you can see this, like, these these accumulation zones do tend to be around this mean area. You can see that, right? Uh, so, uh, reverting back to the mean here after hitting basically the bottom of this does make sense. And if we were to get a second wave down here, then uh, that it would make sense to, to let this come down a bit further to, to let those barriers loose, I guess, right? So, uh, that's kind of what's happening there. If we do reclaim this white line, okay, and we maintain above it, then uh, we can really target up to these, these mid-12,000s again, and then we can uh, bring back our other, what we were talking about the other week here when we are at 12,000, our other prediction here, which will is still, I do still think is going to come into fruition here. I don't expect to lose this white line, okay, uh, for extended periods of time anyway. Uh, but if we do just bring up the weekly here, you can see that this blue coming down from 20k, I'm going to get rid of the mean for now. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of this for now, okay? Uh, so you can see this a little bit easier to see um, with this, this blue indicator, right? So you can see uh, these lines coming down, confluence, a lot of tops are formed here, okay? Uh, a lot of tops are formed even here, okay? This is where we've been riding down a lot of the time, okay? And when we do cross these rings, even here, okay? Uh, and they're not rings, okay? They're, <laughs> they're, um, they're linear regression growth curves, okay? But, uh, I mean, when we do cross these lines, <laughs> uh, even this is a 20% gain in, in you, on all over you, okay? Not in you. <laughs> but uh, even here, right? From this one to this one, fantastic stuff here. So this is something that uh, is free. It's on my profile. Feel free to trade it. When we crossed it here, boom, big bap over that, okay? To the next ring where we find our top at 14, is this 14K? Yeah, 14K top here on a weekly, right? Uh, and then once we do cross it, boom, up to this green line, which uh, we can talk about these green lines. Uh, the green lines are essentially here. Uh, they're my own hypothesis. It's basically the support becomes the next tops uh, over time um, but again it's, it's a little bit ski with I don't really have a lot of data to support this because Bitcoin's not that old but uh, typically you can see a similar thing happening here where if we do come over and we do get the extended bull runs these are a lot of our tops coming through right so uh, I've drawn similar things here uh, just expecting those big tops around there and if we do get up to 20k over the next few months uh, even even next year or so uh, I would expect these to be pretty prominent tops to come through right so uh, we'll see how this progresses but my main point here is when we do cross over when we do cross over this blue line here right uh, I do expect it's a big, gargantuanly healthy pump here. Big bull run up to the sky here, up to uh, 14k at least, and maybe even 15k if we're lucky, right? Uh, so just bear that in mind. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want uh, weekly slash buy daily updates on this. I do do daily videos, but I don't bring this up every video because I don't want to be too repetitive. I like to give you guys a little bit of spice, okay? It's a, it's a restaurant at the end of the day. I gotta cook, keep the variation good, okay? <laughs> don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. But if we do reclaim this white line, okay? Uh, this line on the weekly is coming down here and I would expect this to be the immediate top here but if we do break over it here uh, we can talk about uh, really significant runs towards the upside and this is on a weekly so we're gonna have to wait for weekly closes and stuff like that uh, but 
something like this would make sense if we don't get that wave down here, okay? Uh, so this is this is actually going to be an interesting formation to be in. A lot of people are going to be calling for, for head and shoulders and stuff and big dumps down, but we know this white line is solid, uh, and I would expect this to hold us up if we reclaim it significantly, okay? If we do come up to 12k again, uh, then I would expect this line to hold the next time we touch it, uh, but again, nothing is guaranteed here. Uh, we are living through Armageddon this year, so <laughs> it's, it's important to, to look at everything on the table here and, and just adapt according to that, right? So uh, that's essentially what we're looking at right now. Um, and that's pretty much the video here, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it. 20 minutes long, okay? Back on schedule. We are good here. Um, and uh, yeah, if you, do wanna, if you do want a webinar at the end of the week here on Friday, feel free to go to my website, sign up for it. I'm going to be teaching you how to make 100% ROI every single month on a low leverage uh, without hassle, okay? Without those liquidations, okay? Uh, without the big drawdown. So yeah, stick around. Uh, feel free to sign up to that. It's, it is invite only, so I'll be inviting randomly on the email list, uh, whoever does that. But if you do sign up to that, you do still get weekly emails as well, right? So feel free to do that. And those of you that are really committed to trading, you feel like you've learned a lot here. If, if you feel like you've learned a lot, you want to learn more, you want to learn more about my strategy and stuff like that on really in-depth level, like if you want to really commit to trading here, really commit, then uh, I do have a course on my site. It's 80% off for this month. Not long left for that, obviously. Uh, we're halfway through the month already. So you've got to get in that quick because that offer is only going to be around for, for like the first 10 people, I would say, right? If people really, really want more, we've already sold a few of them, okay? But if people really, really want more here, then um, I might extend the, the offer a bit. But I, I don't really feel comfortable giving away my edge to everyone, especially if there's some big whale buying it, right? So, um, if you do really want to up your game, this is for people that want to trade uh, profitably and learn and really commit and make this your job uh, after obviously getting enough profit. <laughs> don't just don't just quit your job and buy the course, obviously. But um, yeah, like if, if you do want to commit to trading, feel free. It's on my website, 80% off right now. Go do it. It's fine. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and goodbye. From Bitcoin Bees.